hey everybody welcome back uh, in this lecture we will work on the update card button and continue shopping button and checkout button this we need to add at the end of this table this shopping cart so come customers can easily I mean update this cart so just I am on the same page same source code after this last tier inside the table we need to actually insert one more tier tier take and inside the TR take, we'll uh, insert three more TD takes. This is one. I will just select it, copy it with Control C, and we'll paste it twice. So in the first TD, we will just simply insert an input take, which uh, will which type will be something like uh, submit button, and its name will be is equal to update underscore cart and value which is the text that will be update cart this text basically appears or the button and the second one I will simply say that something like uh, input its type will be the same submit and its name will be continue and value for this button will be equal to continue continue shopping mm, that's it and the third one inside the third TD I will write something like a a, a, a link a hub to check out dot PHP page which we will create later on but uh, we can add that basically so after the the link we can insert a button simple button uh, and uh, we can say the button text will be checkout we'll close the button and then close the link ahrab so control s to save you have simply edited these things and now control s to save and refresh the page and you can see the three buttons Conti update cart continue shopping and checkout so we can make them center by using a line attribute for the TR center now control s to save come back refresh the page and you see there some difference but uh, we can also add some call span to the first TD because to make some more distance it will actually merge uh, the extra TDs in the last row so just refresh it now you can see this is here and this is here and now it's looking better basically so this is the checkout link basically to it's going to checkout page and uh, oh we need to actually uh, use this link or this text and this will be ended or here inside the button I'm talking about now replace the page again and you see this is now a link we can uh, give some I mean some style to this link for example can remove the text decoration text decoration will be none and color will be black so that will simply remove this link style from this text refresh you can see now this absolutely looks a button but inside the button we have a link over here to checkout.php which we will create later on this page I mean checkout after this tutorial so simple thing is to now start work the PHP script for this update cart button so customers can update basically this cart if someone wants to remove any product or someone wants to add quantity or things like that so we are now going to work for that just after the form take ending form take here I will start PHP block ending PHP take and after that I will simply say if is set if is set command dollar underscore post uh, update cart if update cart button is clicked or that is active then what should be done inside the two curly brackets so very simply I will say uh, 
forage 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 is a basically uh, a loop that actually has two parameters the two parentheses where we give a condition and after that the expression is done here inside the two curly brackets so in the first i will say dollar underscore post inside the post we say we have uh, oh sorry we say inside uh, a post method is there and we have a remove name a button and we need that as remove id this is a variable which you can create over here with any name this is a local variable so if simply we we are saying that basically we are uh, we are running a loop over here and the targeted input field is this one which name is remove and make it remove id variable local variable so as many uh, uh, records are there because the while loop is running above so how many records are there all of will be all of them will be deleted or you know whatsoever we can do with them uh, and one thing we have just uh, i have just added over here is that you know before this video i did not add the value to it we just added the remove and two square brackets which makes it an array type of thing but we are uh, needed to uh, add the value as well and inside the value attribute we need it to echo the pro id which is a variable and bringing the product ids here you can see pro underscore id is equal to p price and p id that was we were basically getting this from the card and that we have given over here you can see into this checkbox which name is remove and we say we echo uh, this in the value so therefore as many records are there i mean many products ids are there all of them will be passed to this variable i mean for each now we have all the i mean the checkboxes inside this remove underscore id variable so the first thing is to write a query <coughs> sql query but before the sql query we need to actually <coughs> uh, do something i mean here first of all a global and make the connection as global variable i mean the database connection so we can use that inside this uh, php block or we can also use this without that because this is not the functions page or we are not running a fu function so we can remove this simply we can do one thing ip address is equal to uh, get ip get ip function that we have already in the f inside the functions dot php page and <coughs> we will sorry we did wrong over here We need to go uh, here to this place. Yeah. So the first thing is to simply say IP address is equal to. I think we have done some mistake in this part. No, that's okay now. Let's come over here and say get IP function, and that is uh, we have set that in the local variable. So now, here, inside the for each, we'll say uh, we'll create a delete underscore product variable. We will equal it to inside this double quotes. We will write the query HQ, SQL query delete from cart where uh, product underscore ID is equal to remove ID which is this variable local we have created and it has all the IDs all the uh, the IDs inside the checkbox and we will also say end IP underscore address because we cannot delete all the products or all the things from all the users because a specific user is going to use their own IP address and to remove and to update the card we will give this IP address here that <coughs> remove sorry delete from card but where a uh, product ID P underscore ID is equal to remove ID 
which is bringing the IDs and we are saying IP address is equal to this one that's very simple now another variable run underscore delete is equal to mysqli underscore query and in here we will uh, add the connection variable and then the delete underscore product that's it now in here we will say if if run delete is done then inside the two brackets we will simply refresh this page the card page echo inside the echo double quotes we will insert javascript starting and closing take after that we will use window.open command <coughs> and we will simply refresh the page with the self attribute I mean the same page uh -oh. cart.php <coughs> we will redirect the person to cart the same page I mean just we will refresh that page so what we have done I can once again give you an overview that we have this update cart option I mean update cart button so we said if, if it's set post post is the method and update cart the parameter or variable or button or whatsoever so after that we use for each loop to get the product IDs from the remove field which is above and we may we said pass that as remove ID local variable we can give it any name but uh, for simplicity we have given it remove ID name and after that we said delete products delete from cart where product ID uh, P underscore ID is equal to this thing and IP address is equal to IP so the specific uh, products for the specific user will be deleted or will be removed from the cart you know other things are simple so we can now check it out we'll go to our page refresh it now I will click one I will check this box check box the first one and we'll click update cart oh you can see one ha one product has gone and the prices and the items and everything are automatically updated and that is the beauty of PHP so I can uh, I mean I can uh, remove the another one update cart that has also gone if I go to shop back to shop and add some more products for example this one this one this one so I can one more product this is four products and 2250 is the price you can see four products are there now if I delete three at once so I can remove I mean remove three at once so I can simply I have checked them all and I will just click update cart three are gone at once and prices and items are also updated this is why because we are running a for each loop for deleting all the IDs at once that is done now after this uh, last curly bracket we will say if is set dollar underscore post continue I mean if someone wants to continue shopping then very simply inside the curly brackets we'll say echo and simply redirect the person to inside a JavaScript or you can simply copy this JavaScript control C to copy and paste it here just change the page to from cart to index.php control S to save come here press the page someone click this one simply it will come to index page and will add more products from here you can see it is updating automatically now going there and can remove or update the products and things like that so it has done now in the next part we will work on the quantity field if someone add quanti uh, quantity or here so the price subtotal should also be changed and furthermore uh, we can bring that quantity inside this box as well so that is last part for this thing and after that we will work or the checkout so after that we can use PayPal uh, for checking out and also we'll 
create the user accounts and the login and logout systems in registration form. Stay tuned.